here's one.
one start with Scarlatti. Maybe, maybe with Scarlatti, yes? Scarlatti. So I noticed that you are able to get a nice pianissimo on this piano without using the left pedal, and this is unusual. <laughs> However, if you use also the soft pedal, you can get an even greater range in the dynamics and the colors of the sound. So, as you notice, Scarlatti doesn't write any dynamics But it does not mean that if he had a good modern piano, that he would not do it. The same like this other composer who was born the same year, in 1685, called Johann Sebastian Bach. Of course, these pieces were written for harpsichord. But I would suggest that you use all the possibilities of this beautiful modern piano. But you should use your imagination how you can do this. And I asked you to play the repeat to see what you would do in the repeat. And you played the same way. It is acceptable. But personally, I prefer to play in a different way some parts of the repeats. Because as I explained before to another student, you experience a situation in life, and she's tired to repeat always the same thing. No, You are a bad girl. Yes, better wait. And then in life, you continue your life, and you encounter again the same situation. So you look at it in a different way because of the first experience you got of that similar situation. Yeah, right? So please play again the first part, the first time of the first part. And let's see together what you can do there. More. Because technically it's perfect. You can play like this on the cembalo. You can play like this on the modern piano if you want to play if, as if it was a cembalo. But if you want to play as if it as it is, and it is a modern, wonderful piano. We have here a Bösendorfer, a Yamaha. Both of them are wonderful. They have so many possibilities. It's up to you to decide if you want to use their possibilities. And in any case, in the cembalo, when they when they they can also use some uh, other registration, you know, as you know. But here you can also make crescendi, you can also make diminuendi. So play first again the beginning. Okay? Now, 
Play the repeat. What could you do? I want you to use your own imagination because you are a very good musician. What could you do to make it sound a little bit different? It's the first time I read this piece, so all you can start, maybe a little bit earlier. For example, would you like to try both ways and then tell me? If you like it, because I am not forcing you. I'm just giving you uh, two more options. And remember, the cembalo players always used to add sometimes uh, appoggiaturas to improvise when they play the piece. There, there are even some pieces by, for example, Couperin, Preludio, he just writes a few notes, and he was supposed to improvise on he doesn't, he doesn't write, for example, sometimes the rhythm, you know? So all these musics of the of these times were much more free interpretation than what we have been thinking for too long. Mm. So please try with louder the first two bars and echo pianissimo the next two bars. And then very soft beginning and then crescendo. example one of these two options. You are a big girl now, you are 12 years old and I want you to be able to decide by yourself. Okay. She likes the crescendo one. Okay. Good. You do what you want. Maybe another day you find something else. Yeah. Also, you can play with a variety in appoggiaturas. For example, more difficult. 
difficult, but it gives an extra capriccioso feeling. And because this is a little bit a military, you know that Scarlatti wrote several kinds of sonatas. You have the flamenco sonatas. Do you understand the word flamenco? Spanish uh, folkloric, you know? He wrote some flamenco sonatas. Some of them are more militar, you know? Some more romantic also. So, you want to try this? consider this. You can also add some appreciatures in the left hand sometimes. Now here, Spanish influence on Scarlatti, who lived in Spain, a lot. You can also do a crescendo like the first time, but more, and then a diminuendo, and start again. Okay, you want to try this? Only from here, diminuendo. Try, try, just to see how it sounds. We are so lucky to have such a wide repertoire. 
And when we practice, I think we could consider our practicing time as a, as a researcher who is in his laboratory, laboratory and who is experimenting all kind of things. Okay. So, play this again and continue. First time, please, again. First time. From there, from there. You know what you can do? You can play one part, and then you think about it, you play again, you think, you play, and you find something which you like, and you propose it to me. From here. <laughs> Okay, maybe now you can do again the same part and do the first time fortissimo and the second time pianissimo to see how it sounds and then you tell me which one you prefer. You あの、左のペダル使った方が今綺麗になったの分かりますか？しっかり使ってくださいね。左のペダル。もう一度やってみましょう。She likes the second mm -hmm. one? Yeah. Yes? For the repeat. Yeah. And if you want, in the pianissimo, you can have a little, very little alargando here. Want to try? Try this. And we need to keep this. 
ベーノと話さない。それが美しい要素になるので、こうならないでしょ。ポリフォニーっていうのはたくさんのって意味で。And, uh, or much, and for me, voice. ポリフォニーっていうのは声。なのでたくさんの声。多声部っていうことがポリフォニー。Also, シンフォニーっていうのも同じようにギリシャ語で。シンっていうのはフォニー、ボイス。フォニーっていうのは声。それも同じね。たくさんの響きってことです。Okay. So、here, なのでちょっと左手出してあげてください。How, how do you play the first time here? Play the first time. It's a very good idea. <laughs> Sorry, I should not tell you that I understand Japanese. I am a, I am a North Korean spy. Excuse me. <laughs> so, you want to do it? Okay. Play, play the pianissimo from here. What you want. You are a big girl and you decide what you want. So let's continue. First time.
same thing. <laughs> like the first time. How about having a different light suddenly here? I don't remember how you played the first two bars the first time. Did you play loud or piano? Do you remember the first time? Loud. So why not? Or you can start softer and then you do it crescendo in order to... Can you play again the first time of these two lines? First time. Start soft, do a big crescendo, and suddenly, on the change of harmony, a totally soft, transparent, different color. First time, because I, I need to, to see what you do after. Excuse me, when we do these things, they always have to make sense. We are not supposed to do different things just to make different things in a confusing way. You know? It has to make sense. So, first time again, please. So, the second time we were... Example. 
二ページ目の三段目の最後。小説数ありますか？何小説目？五十。五十。Fifty。Fifty。Fifty。これ左で弾いてみたらどうですか
Five, three. Five, three. Maybe it's more safe. This one is probably safe. Easy. Play three, one, two, one, two, one.
if you need help. もしあれ。How about this? This is okay? ここ大丈夫ですか
それカバーできるのでビバンゴ一つでね。オフコースユマイトシンクだってエフィンギャリングイズベターエンデンエフィューデイズレイターユートライアゲンイフォーズワークオッケー。エンユファインドベターワン。そしてまたそこで探し直
Okay, now. Change your finger in the middle. Let me think a second. Okay, now you can do this. Okay, now you can do this. It's plastic. Huh? No, I can't. No, it's possible. Yes. Take it. Can you try this? Slow. Now, the two first notes together. This is one group. And now you do uh, this, and then no, no, si bemol fa dies. Both at home. Okay. And also, 
here also. ここも同じことです。We have three minutes left. Let's have a look on Mendelssohn. Yeah. <laughs> Scarlatti is a very nice guy, but we also have Mendelssohn. No, that's Scarlatti too. <laughs> no, this is Scarlatti. <laughs> Enough. Scarlatti? You mean? Okay. Here, I want to tell you something. You play very beautifully, but you don't need. To have a big alargando both times. Let me show you. When you play it, you need this. Too much. <laughs> you can do some almost like this, but. Only one time, the second time. Because you build up, you know. If there is a second time, it means that he is insisting on something. So you want them, the audience, to understand that you are insisting. This is why you can do it the second time. Second time, you can 
have it a little bit more. I would suggest you to not have it almost nothing in the first time. Very little and more here. You want to try it? And only here starts the crescendo of the right hand. Okay? You want to try again? And you know what? Even if the acoustic is uh, dry or not dry, what you can do is vary the pedal. You know, for example, I, I, I didn't play this for 51 years. <laughs> Lift the pedal, use it sometimes to create a nice sound effect. But please don't play like this. This is boring. And if you want to increase the precision of the octaves because of you have a small hand, of course. Each one two times. Ba, 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 Try to have your thumb a little bit because otherwise you catch. Mm -hmm. And then But you can extend a little bit. You can extend. Play this octave. Play one octave. Both hands. And try to extend a little bit. Yeah, not too much. Stress, stress. And then relax. 
if you do it every day a little bit, it will open a little bit. Okay. A little bit. Don't force, okay? And then you practice. And then. Then also. <笑>変な返し。<笑>